You know, you should really answer your phone. Why bother? You just let yourself in anyway. It took me a while to break your barrier. When will you finally come to work for- This ain't a social call. What do you want, Quinn? Down to business. Okay. I need you to go make a house call. Why? You're pretty damn persuasive when you want to be. Well, for one thing, it involves another werewolf. No. Rowan? I left Pack Life for a reason. I wouldn't be here if I didn't think it was my only option. The answer is no. Oh, then you're okay if something like what happened to Jesse happens again. Don't mention their name. I'm sorry. I really didn't want to involve you in this. But I think you're the only one the wolf will listen to. Lord knows I just fell on deaf ears. Please, Rowan. I know when we met, I told you that you could do the whole recluse thing. And you still can. I just need this favor, please, before more blood is spilt. What is the situation? The usual. An idealistic fool believes love can conquer all, even the monster that hides inside. Idiot. Will you go? This your request? Or is it the higher-ups? The council is eager to avoid a repeat of what happened a decade ago. Sure. Because it affected them so much. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't desperate, Rowan. Please. One job. Just this once. Fine. Tell me where I'm going. <laughs> I know. And when the ghost popped up in the kitchen... <laughs> exactly. Nearly spilled all our popcorn. Anyways, we'll have to come up with something a little less terrifying for our next date. Nah, just got home. Work was insane. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You'd think... I'm going to call you back, baby. You've got ten seconds to come out before I drag you out by your hair. Wow. Great threat. Real original, Parker. Sorry for the whole Dark Shadows thing. Not really my style, but I had to talk to you somehow. Who sent you? No one you would know. Name's Rowan. Or don't shake my hand, ungrateful bastard. How'd you get in here? Not too hard. Especially when you have a witch in your pocket. That and the fact that this place doesn't have any wards. You're lucky no one paid a visit sooner. <sighs> If I were human, maybe that would have scared me a bit. I don't give a fuck who you are. Get out of my apartment. Got a cute significant other, by the way. Nice smile, too. Why the hell do you have a picture of them? Because I'm here to stop you from making the biggest mistake in your life. A mistake I wish someone would have stopped me from making. And what mistake is that? Come on, kid. You tell me. You're the wolf dating a human. Like I told that witch. It's no one's business but ours. Sure. Maybe for now it is. But what happens on the next full moon when you wake up next to a bloody corpse in the forest, huh? How are you going to talk yourself out of that when the cops show up? I won't kill them. I have the wolf. The wolf. 
cannot be controlled. Anyone who tells you otherwise is selling you something. Just who are you? Let me tell you a story, kid. Once upon a time, there was a werewolf. And this wolf, well, they lived by themselves, always cautious. They never took risks around humans, and they liked to keep to themselves and their pack. Until one day, this wolf meets a beautiful human. And this human showed the wolf a kind of compassion that only the movies can even begin to convey. So what happened to that wolf? He fell in love, swore to protect that human. And for a while it was great, magical even. Blissful year went by and the wolf let down their guard. Got lazy with precautions around each full moon. Didn't take the right amount of wolfsbane to make them weak. And then one full moon, the wolf came out and turned the human into a chew toy. The next morning, the wolf woke up to see that the one person they'd loved, who had accepted them for what they were, was... Well, they had their chest ripped open. You probably figured this out, but I was that wolf. And Jesse. Jesse paid the price for it. So you think you're the exception to the rule? You think your love can power through anything? You're not special, kid. No one is. It's only a matter of time before you kill your human. So if you have even half a brain cell, you'll end this relationship before you kill the one person who matters most. No. You say something? I said no. That's not gonna happen to me. <laughs> God, you really are an idiot, aren't you? Didn't you hear a word I said? I did. But I'm not you. Newsflash, kid. You are. You're some cocky werewolf who thinks you got this whole thing under control. You don't. You will slip up. And when you do, you're gonna hurt the people closest to you. You should be damn grateful that I'm here even talking to you. I hear what you're saying, and I'm sorry about Jesse, but I'm not you, and my partner isn't Jesse. And what makes you so damn special, huh? Nothing. There's nothing special. You're right. I could kill my lover. But even knowing that, I can't leave. They know the risks. They chose me anyways. I'm not going to turn tail and run. Their blood will be on your hands. I'm not giving up on them, Rowan. I'm sorry. <laughs> I told her you wouldn't listen. Fine, kid. Have it your way. Kill your lover for all I care. Don't say I didn't warn you. For what it's worth, I'm sure Jesse knew what- Gonna need you to shut the fuck up right now before I put your head through this wall. Right. Shutting up. I'm assuming you heard it all. Yes. I'm disappointed, Rowan. Life is full of disappointments. I'm afraid the Council will need to fix the problem ourselves. I'm sorry, Rowan. What do you mean, fix the- Shit. Kid, let's go. Huh? Where? The witch in my pocket is gonna kill your human if we don't get to them now. I'll drive. Let's move. 